To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here. with your love and for these blessings we'll lift our heart in praise without a doubt we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place exploring god's word april 9th to find the word, interesting, receive the Spirit. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Psalm 119, verse 169. The Bible has been placed in the background. While the sayings of great men and women, so-called, have been taken in its stead. May the Lord forgive us the slight we have put upon his word. Though inestimable, treasures are in the Bible, and it is like a mine full of precious ore. It is not valued, it is not searched, and its riches are not discovered. Mercy and truth and love are valuable beyond our power to calculate. We cannot have too great a supply of these treasures. And it is in the word of God that we find out how we may become possessors of these heavenly riches. And yet, why is it that the word of God is uninteresting to many professed Christians? It is because the word of God is not spirit and is not life. Has Jesus put upon us an uninteresting task when he commands us to search the scriptures? Jesus says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But spiritual things are spiritually discerned, and the reason of your lack of inches is that you lack the Spirit of God. When the heart is brought into harmony with the Word, a new life will spring up within you. A new light will shine upon every line of the Word, and it will become the voice of God to your soul. In this way, you will take celestial observations and know whither you are going and be able to make the most of your privileges today we should ask the lord to open our understanding that we may comprehend divine truth if we humble our hearts before god empty them of vanity and pride and selfishness through the grace abundantly bestowed upon us if we sincerely desire and unwaveringly believe the bright beams of the sun of righteousness will shine into our minds and illuminate our darkened understanding. Jesus is the light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He is the light of the world, and he bids us come unto him and learn of him. He had come to seek and to save that which was lost, and he could not permit himself to be turned from his one object. He allowed nothing to divert him. The work he has given into our hands Shall we do it? There are sweet expressions on each face, and I know they feel the presence of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, Stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. 
Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. And now I entrust you to God and the message of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance with all those he has set apart for himself.